Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at two key properties of a Bernoulli trial, namely the mean and the variance. Now recall that the Bernoulli trial is the most basic of all discrete distributions. It's applicable whenever we have an experiment which have one of two outcomes which we call success and failure. We're going to show how we can get the mean, the expected value of x, and also how we can get the variance of x if x is a Bernoulli. Now well, let's start off by writing down what they call the distribution or more correctly the probability mass function of the Bernoulli. So say x is a Bernoulli it's got an outcome of success coded 1 as 0 for failure. We have to write down the associated probabilities. Now since uh, an experiment uh, has one of two outcomes, success or failure, the probabilities in this, these tables must sum to 1 because these events here, uh, these outcomes are mutually exclusive. Now in some books they will denote this probability of success as pi and, and others they will denote it as p. Um, more theoretical uh, textbooks tend to use this pi and applied introductory stats books use tend to use p. Today I'll use uh, p. Okay, so if that's p, then for it to add up to the probability to add up to one, this must be one minus p. p plus one minus p is one. Okay, first find the mean of x. To find the mean of x is saying for this distribution is the same as saying find the expected value of x. Now recall the definition of the expected value of x when x is discrete is sum of each outcome times the respected probability. So what we have here is 1 times p, so this one, 1 times p plus this outcome 0 plus times 1 minus p, so plus 0 times 1 minus p and that comes to p. Done. Easy. Before going on to find the variance of x, let's just say um, in line with uh, basic stats notation that we can denote uh, the expected value of x by mu. Okay, Mu is just uh, another way to denote expected value of x. Right, before I continue to calculate the variance, um, I apologize if you can hear some banging. There seems to be um, a builder in the building. Maybe he's having problems with a stats problem. Okay, variance of x. By definition is this. But as uh, we've shown in previous uh, video, this is the equivalent of finding this. And this second expression is much easier to calculate than the first because we don't have to look at differences, x minus mu. It turns out to be much easier. So when calculating functions of differences squared, always try to expand the brackets and rewrite it without the differences. OK. Let's call this expression 1. And to find the variance of x, we need to find the expected value of x squared. We already know what mu is, because it's p, because we found that in the first bit of the question. Now, because x is discrete, the expected value of x squared will take this formula which looks the same as for the expectation but notice we've got xi squared. Now where does this, what result have I used? I've used the following result. That the expected value of a function g of x is equal to the sum of this uh, transformed x times the associated probability. The g in here is the squared because you've taken the x and you've squared it so therefore um, we sum the x squared times the probability so that's where this squared has come from. Uh, this holds for all g when x is discrete. Putting in the values we have 1 squared times probability p plus um, 0 square times probability of 1 minus p from the table for the distribution 
and this gives us an answer of P. We call this result 2. Now, to get the variance of X, I substitute now this, this uh, thing here, 2, into 1. So we can see that the variance of X is equal to probability of success times probability of failure. So to summarize, if X is a Bernoulli trial, then the mean given by the expected value of X is P and the variance of the Bernoulli is probability of success times probability of failure. Now this result is very useful in finding a similar kind of mean and variance of a binomial, but we'll leave that for another time. To finish, let's look a bit, try to kind of read something into this uh, result, because otherwise what's the point of doing it? Suppose P is equal to 1. What does that mean? It means for definite, 100% sure, that we're going to get a success, then this says that um, what I ex the expected value of the outcome is going to be 1, which means that success for sure. Well, I can't say for sure until I can look at the variance. Well, when p is 1, the variance of x is 1 times 0, that's 0. So, in other words, x will together means that x is equal to 1 and there's no variability on that x is equal to 1 for sure which makes sense because if p is equal to 1 it means that the chance of success is is 1 or you're 100% sure that's going to happen at the other extreme if p is 0 it means that there is no hope that at all zero chance that the event's going to happen the mean outcome is going to be 0 and the variance of that um, 0 so you're 100% sure that means you're 100% sure that you are going to get failure. And those are the two extremes because recall, and it's not always uh, known by students, that this P, since it's a probability, is between 0 and 1. Okay, great. So we're done today. Um, I'm Phil, your statistics mentor.